Hi, welcome to Smart App Moms. I'm Dr. Kiki. And I'm Steph Tuzingna. Today we are reviewing Fetch Lunch Rush. This is the show where we help you figure out which apps are appropriate for your kids, saving you time and hopefully making your job a whole lot easier. We're scouring the app stores, looking for apps that we can review and that we can give to our kids to get a real kid perspective. Today we are re reviewing Fetch Lunch Rush, which is an augmented reality game multiplayer in which you manage the lunch orders at Ruff, the main character, Ruff's movie set. Hi, Ruff Ruffman here. I need your help making my new movie. On a movie crew, you need to think fast and be quick on your feet, especially when everyone is hungry. And it was funded by a Department of Education grant to supplement standards for first and second grade students. Steph, what was your what was your first impression of this app? I loved that it was free, and it really wasn't junky. It was good quality. I, I thought so. For it sure. is good quality. Nice yeah. animations. They do come from an animated series on the PBS network, and this is produced by PBS. So they've got a lot of good animation coming into it. But then the gameplay was also pretty good quality too. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a great premise. Running around and doing math couldn't be better for the brain. I mean, <laughs> you, I mean, that's how you keep that learning, is involving the physicality. And I think it's great for all learners. Yeah. Um, and great for a lot of different age levels. Unfortunately, you can't set your age for the player, which was my one downside. I really didn't like that, because I was always winning. <laughs> yeah, as mom, you're always going to get it first, to. right? And I'm trying not to. I'm trying to slowly run to the <laughs> next thing, which you have to run to get the person's lunch order. In the yeah, so the, the thing about this game, you have to print out little mm. cards that represent sushi orders for the movie set. You place these cards on level surfaces around the room, and then you take your device. It mm. asks yeah. you math questions related to the lunch orders on the movie set, and then you have to answer the question by going right. to the appropriate card and With the number, clicking yeah. on it, or basically taking a picture. Well, the little sushi shows up on your yeah. screen, which is cute, yeah. Yeah, you get a little bit of sushi, and then, and then you get it right or wrong, mm -hmm. and you keep going. But yeah, it's great. You're moving around. Mm -hmm. That's good for the brain. You're practicing your math. That's good yeah. for the brain. Yeah. Lots of great aspects and to this app. And then they, if you didn't, know the answer. They gave you a visual um, addition problem, which was really appropriate, I thought, and it brought the age level to use it down a little bit. Because my five and a half year old really didn't have a problem with the level of math. I mean, it was just basic arithmetic. But my three year old could not do it. Right. But maybe <laughs> someone that's just learning addition could really do it because of those hints. Yeah. The visual ones, yeah. Yeah. What are your take home messages or take home points for this? I really love it. I think it would be a great game for a bunch of six year olds to play together. Like, it'd be crazy and loud and, you know, use their bodies and, you know. But the only other thing I, my house, I, mean, I have these on my walls now. Like, they're there. We're living with them. It's okay. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, so I think it's great. It's physically engaging. It incorporates the environment and yeah. the device, so you're using your, your world. But the downside, if you're not into this, it requires printing and cutting out the, mm -hmm. the cards. Um, so I gave this a final grade of a B. I gave it a B plus. I mean, thank you, PBS. I thought it was great. Thank you, PBS. Yeah. Thank you, Department of Education. Free! We're going to say that again. Yeah. Consider it tested? Tested. Awesome. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you want to make comments or suggest another app that we can review, let us know. Our info is below. I'm Dr. Kiki at Dr. Kiki on Twitter. And I'm Steph Tuzignan at Ask Annie on Twitter. And don't forget to check out our review of Frozen, which is a different kind of movie-based app. There are a couple movie-based apps that you might get a different perspective from us from that. So look for it. This has been Smart App Moms. You've made a smart choice.